Hi, Sawaiwa. It's your Aunt M. I'm going to read you some more of the book. Of the book, A Bear Called Pennington. We're up to chapter four, okay? Chapter four. A shopping. E-S-P-E-D-I-T-I-O-N. The man in the, the tournament outfitting department at, at Bob Witches held penitent's hat, hat at, at arm's length between thumb and forefinger. He looked at, at it distastefully. I take it the, the young ER gentleman will, will not be, be requiring this in any more. M-O-D-O-M, he said. Oh, yes, I shall, said, said Paddington firmly. I have always had that hat ever since I was small. But, but wouldn't you like a, a, a nice new one, Paddington, said Miss Brown, adding hastily, for best. Paddington thought for a moment. Uh, I will have one for worse, if you like, he said. That's my best one. The salesman shot it slightly, and averting his his gaze, placed the, the upending article in the, the far end of the counter. Albert, he beckoned to a youth who, who was boobling in the the background, background. See what we we have in size four, seven, seven, eight. Albert began to rummage under the that counter, and now while we are about it, said Miss Brown, we'd like a a nice warm coat for the the winter. Something. Something like a a double coat with 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 T O G G L E S so that he can he can do do it it up easily I thought and and we also like a a plastic wing coat for the the summer the the salmon looked at her at her heartily. He, he wasn't very fond of bears, and this, this one especially had been, had been giving him queer looks ever, ever since he, he'd mentioned his, his Winston had, had M-O-D-O-M tried the, the bargain basement, he began something in a government surplus? No, I haven't, said Miss Brown heartily. Government surplus, indeed. I have never heard of such a thing. Have you, Paniton? No, said Paniton, who had no, no idea what government surplus was, was never. He stared hard at the man who, who looked away uneasily, uneasily. Paniton had a a very persistent stare when he when he cared to to use it. It was a very powerful spell, one which his and Lu Lucy had had taught him, and which he he kept for special occasions. Miss Brown pointed to a a small blue duffel coat with a, a red lining that looks the, the very thing, she said, the assistant gulped. Yes, M O 
M-O-D-O-M, so gently, M-O-D-O-M, he beckoned to Penitent, come this, this way, so, Penitent followed the existed, he being a foul too, two feet behind him, and staring very hard, the, the back of the format next scene, seemed to go a, a doll with, and he fingered his collar nervously as they passed the, the hat counter Albert, who lived in, in constant fear of his, his superior, and who had, had been watching the, the event with an, an open mouth, it can attend the, the thumbs up sign, and it didn't wave a paw. He was, he was beginning to, to enjoy himself. And so, he allowed the assistant to help, to help him on with the, the coat and then, and then stood admiring himself in the mirror. It was the, the first coat he had ever possessed. In, in Peru, it had been very hot, and though his, his Aunt Lucy had, had made him wear a hat to, to prevent, to prevent sunstroke, it, it had always been much too, too warm for a, a coat of any sort. He looked at himself in the vanilla and, and was surprised to see not one but a, but a long line of, of bears stretching away as far as the, the eye could see. Could see. In fact, everywhere he, he looked, there were bears and then and they were all, all looking extremely smart. Isn't the hood a trifle large? asked Miss Brown anxiously. Hoods are, are being worn large this, this year. M-O-D-O-M said the assistant. It's the, the latest fashion. He, he was about to add that that penitent seemed to to have rather a a large head anyway, but he he changed his mind. Bears were were rather unpredictable. You 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 never quite knew what they they were thinking, and this one in in particular seemed to have a mind of his own, of his own. Do you like it, Penitin asked Miss Brown. Penitin gave up counting bears in the, the mirror and turned around to look at the, the back view. I think it's the, the nicest coat. I have ever seen, he said, after a, a moment's thought. Miss Brown and the, the assistant heaved a sigh of relief. Good, said Miss Brown. That's better than. Now there's just the question of a hat and a, and a plastic Macintosh. She walked over to the, the hat counter where Albert, who could, who could still hardly take his, his admiring eyes off, Penitent had arranged a huge pile of hats. There were, were bowler hats, sun hats, B-I-L-B-Y hats, B-E-R-E-T-S, and even a, a very small top hat. Miss Brown eyed, eyed them doubtfully. It's difficult, she said, looking at, at Benetton. 
is largely a question of his, his ears. It's hardly a question. It's largely a question of his ears. They, they stick out like a, you could cut some, some holes for them set outward. The body system flows in with a, a burnt cut, a hole, and a hole in a, in a Bob Ridges hat, he exclaimed. I have never heard of such a thing. Of such a thing. That's all I'm going to read for now. Okay, so I will. Next time I'll read, read you some more. Okay, bye bye for now. Lots of love and kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah.